The water that we drink, the air that we breathe, the food that we eat, and the land that we live on are more often consumed and abused than conserved and preserved because human beings are full of entitlement, aren't they? There's anomalous growth of population along with mindless consumption of non-renewable resources, which is leading our planet to losing its immunity to fight back the depletion of all sorts. But what's sadder is that this is happening despite us humans having the scope to reverse the damage. Human beings and Mother Earth have one thing in common, inherent resilience. However, there is also one common enemy to the both, time. Taking action at the right time can help bounce back both, but the contrary can be irreversibly damaging too. Good news, we still have the time and the resources to make it right, but it's a conscious decision that has to be made with unwavering commitment. And that is what MRN Group has decided to do from its inception. MRN Group was established by Sri Murugesh Arnarani to reimagine the future of the world using the tremendous resources that were long forgotten in Karnataka. One of the largest missions of the MRN Group is to reach global dominance in the endeavor of making a positive impact to the climate change crisis through the bioenergy sector. And that gave birth to Truald Energy Limited. Truald Energy was established with a goal to provide energy solutions to cater to the demands of countries' needs, to becoming a self-reliant nation, especially in the domain of energy requirements. This can be achieved by not just cutting down the dependency on fuel imports, but also by creating an environment of abundance with respect to cleaner sources of energy with lesser carbon emissions, in order to facilitate the envisioned shift seamlessly. This would not only translate into an improvement in our forex, but complete alignment with the national biofuels policies, reinstating the fact that we are in this together as a nation. बायोफ्यूल पर्यावरण और हमारी आर्थिक उन्नति के बीच तालमेल बिठाने में बड़ा सहायक बनने की शक्ति रखता है इथेनॉल को पेट्रोल के साथ मिक्स करने से पिछले वर्ष देश को लगभग 4000 करोड़ रुपए के बराबर की विदेशी मुद्रा की बचत हुई है अगले 4 वर्ष में गन्ने से इथेनॉल बनाने भर से ही लगभग 20,000 करोड़ रुपए से अधिक जुटने का अनुमान है। To understand that better, let's take a closer look at ethanol and its potential. Just between 2019 and 2020, India recorded close to 89 billion liters of diesel consumption and 38 billion liters of petrol consumption. The petrol consumption growing at a rate of 9% every year. The need for ethanol, a cleaner alternative fuel, has been more real than ever. But is ethanol better? By all means. Under the EBP program, when ethanol is blended with petrol at a 20% blend rate, the government of India is able to achieve a whopping import expense reduction on close to 760 crore liters of petrol. What's even better is that this leads to a saving of over 2.28 lakh crores of import expense to the country. Not just a financial benefit, ethanol also brings with it an unmatched combination of harmlessness and enhanced performance. Ethanol is a completely renewable fuel that is made from various plant materials collectively known as biomass. To be more specific, the plant sources are sugarcane, bamboo, rotten potatoes, and corn. It is also made from the byproducts of sugar or the waste called molasses, generated during sugar production. Agriculture being the backbone of our nation serves as the biggest contributor to the future of the ethanol industry, as all of these crops are extensively produced in our country. Curious to know how ethanol is produced at MRN Group? Here's the step-by-step -step process. All the sugar cane that is harvested is extracted, 
milled, purified, and crystallized for commercial use. But the byproduct called molasses that is generated during this process of sugar production is where the latent ethanol lies. These molasses are carefully fermented with the help of yeast, thereby creating a spirit wash, which is further sent for distillation, where pure and high-grade ethanol is prepared. At True Alt, it is in the waste that we found our wealth. The liquid waste discharged during sugar production is converted into renewable forms of energy, such as steam, which is used for generating electricity that is cycled back to energizing the plant, as well as exported to the state power grid, and creating bio-CNG gas and CO2 that is emitted during the said fermentation process is also collected to make dry ice and liquid CO2 for various other applications. The central idea in this whole process is to make this dependency cyclical and sustainable, wherein the energy spent to produce ethanol actually becomes energy invested with greater returns to reap. By recognizing this scope in our country, the national policy for biofuels was brought into the picture to promote the increase of ethanol mix in our current fuel, thereby facilitating the shift towards running our nation with only clean energy eventually. Sri Amit Shah Ji had also acknowledged MRN Group's efforts into helping the nation drive this change. Ethanol banane ki samta mein badotri ki gayi hai, anek prakar ke prakal. निरानी ग्रुप ऑफ इंडस्ट्री ने आज यहां पर शुरू किए हैं मैं इस सारे साहस के लिए श्री मुकेश निरानी को भी बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं देता हूं ट्रू ऑल्ट टुडे इज अ प्रोमिनेंट कंट्रीब्यूटर टू वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट एग्रो कमोडिटी बिजनेसेस ऑफ इंडिया थ्रू एमआरएन ग्रुप्स शुगर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बिजनेस विद अ कंबाइंड कैपेसिटी ऑफ 70000 TCD वन ऑफ द रीसेंट माइलस्टोन अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ एमआरएन ग्रुप was its commitment to convert 1,500 traditional tractors to CBG as the alternative amidst the presence of five ministers. With TVS's launch of a fully ethanol-enabled bike and countries like Brazil, US, and many European countries already running on ethanol, this event filled us all with immense hope to be committed in converting 500 tractors into CBG and eventually running the nation on alternative and sustainable fuels. So my friend Nirani ji will appreciate here we have created answer at the Bagal court. This Bagal court is going to create a model for Bangalore. We envision an India that runs on good energy and we are active contributors to this cause with our goal of producing over 450 million liters per annum. We are geared to drive our nation forward steer with sustainability. Mother Earth's forbearance towards her children should stop being taken for granted. She has nourished us despite the abuse of her resources. She has given us more than we ever deserved. This day, this moment is a calling to show our gratitude to her in actions and actions alone. Let us make cleaner greener and better choices not for a better tomorrow but for a better today a better now